Hey guys, this is Tyler again with AR500 Armor. Today we're releasing a new product, which is our Blunt Force Trauma Pad. It is an ultra lightweight trauma pad at just, just over five ounces. It's only a quarter inch thick and it's flexible in all directions. What this is, is it's a blunt force trauma pad designed to mitigate blunt force trauma. Um, it'll absorb energy and it's designed to be worn behind our level three hard armor or level three A soft armor. So basically when a round hits the plate, energy is transferred across the surface area of the plate in addition to what's behind it, which would be your body. You wear the soft trauma pad behind the plate and it helps absorb some of the energy and mitigate some of the energy transfer. What's unique about our trauma pad is it's constructed from a non-Newtonian pad in addition to a traditional foam pad um, and the non-Newtonian layers harden instantaneously upon impact creating a hard area um, which increases surface area for the energy to transfer across. So you would wear it on the back side of your plate and what's nice about it being so lightweight and flexible is it forms to just about anything which makes it ideal to wear behind a curved plate um, or our soft armor. You can wear this in conjunction with ceramic, um, anything as a backer. We do want to note it is non-ballistic. It is strictly designed for back face deformation mitigation, so you'll have less back face deformation with the trauma pad installed. And it is strictly just for comfort purposes and to decrease energy transfer um, if you were to ever experience round hitting your armor. All right, so to give you a quick demonstration uh, of the principle of the non-Newtonian foam, on the right hand side here we have our non-Newtonian pad, on the left side we have what a traditional blunt force trauma pad would be made out of, which is actually just a thick foam. Um, so in lieu of a live fire demonstration, which we'll have in a separate video shortly, we're going to show you just a small scale uh, low velocity test by dropping a ball on each. You'll be able to see the difference in energy transfer and how a traditional foam absorbs energy versus our non-Newtonian back face. So first up, we'll do the non-Newtonian back face. And now we'll do the traditional foam. In a low velocity test with a steel ball bearing, you can still clearly see the difference between the capabilities and energy transfer properties of our non-Newtonian pad versus traditional foam, which is used uh, commonly in, in uh, older style trauma pads. Our, trauma, our blunt force trauma pad is constructed from multiple layers of our non-Newtonian pad in addition to a foam backing in order to aid in comfort. So again, this was a low speed, uh, kind of a small scale test, and we will get the live fire test up as soon as we can. Uh, we're just working on production of that. Following this, we'll do a quick slow speed test just so you can see the difference one more time. So this is our 10 by 12 model and our advanced shooter's cut. Um, again, you can wear it with our level 3A, uh, I'm sorry, our level 3 hard armor, our 3A soft armor. Um, you can wear it with 11 by 14, although you won't quite get the surface area and it's compatible with all ceramic armor and any other soft armor on the market. So there's a lot of uses for it. We tried to keep it as affordable as possible while using our non-Newtonian layers um, and the pads. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. One other thing we'd like to know is that on our trauma pad, the AR500 trauma pad side should be worn away from the body. So if this were the back of your level three plate, you would place the logo towards the plate and this open side here would be facing your body. So it should go your level three plate or your level three A armor, then your trauma pad and then your body. That would be the correct orientation.